What I got here is I got some plywood, some rough cut two by fours. I'm gonna start laying this out. My goal here is, is to be efficient with my materials, you know, and try to make my dog houses out of one sheet of plywood per dog house. When winter comes, you gotta constantly maintain your dog's houses, clean them out once a week, trying to set the house up to where it's easy to do that, very functionable. I need the door up high so the straw stays in there and they're not dragging the straw out. So to finish that up, I use a handsaw. That way I can keep a nice clean cut. I got a feeling that the dogs are gonna be pretty excited about this. This is the time of year you gotta get everything done in Alaska, because winter's coming. You can smell it in the air. The fireweed's starting to lose all its flowers and bloom. So time's coming. The, the dogs gotta have houses. They gotta be dry. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is get my two by fours measured out and cut, and I'm gonna slap one together and make sure my design's sound. I don't ever really go off a plan or a blueprint. I just got it in my mind what I wanna do, and it's just playing with numbers and laying things out. These are the pieces that I will use to line the roof and the floor with so everything will firmly attach. This ties it in structurally. With my plywood that I have, I have to like think to be like efficiently and plan out my usage of my wood. I got the stack of wood, that's what I got. I don't want to have a lot of waste. For building dog houses, you know, I view it as just a simple thing like building a smokehouse. It's, you know, built to shelter the dog. It's not a piece of artwork. Like you build a dog house, it's not necessarily permanent, but, you know, if you take good care of them, they could last five, six years. Dog house number one. Ginger. What you doing? Hello, Ginger. Is it your house? Give the dog house to the dog. She's in it right away. She must like it. Back to it. Just getting started.